Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can install Kafka in our Windows machine and how we can work with Python and Kafka. Okay, this concept is very important because if you are working in big data domain, then you might be knowing that there are three fees, right? One is velocity, one is volume, one is variety. Volume means nothing but in big data world, we generally work with huge volume of data, which is pretty obvious. And then variety, sometimes we get structured data from RDBMS source systems, etc. Sometimes we get semi-structured data that can be from some API. We are basically extracting that records using request module in Python or something like that sort. And sometimes we work with unstructured data also okay right so that is coming to variety of data and the another very popular fee is velocity okay that is real-time streaming data also we use in our big data pipelines right and related to real-time data processing i have already discussed one particular aws service which is aws kinesis which you can obviously use and not only that Nowadays, many companies use Kafka also. Okay, even AWS provide AWS MSK, which is Manage Kafka Cluster. Okay, so that one also used very widely for real-time processing. And you should be having idea with Kafka because it is not like all the companies are using AWS Kinesis because some companies may be using Azure or some are using GCP or some are not even in cloud, they are using on-prem system. So for all those companies where kinesis cannot be used then obviously another choice can be kafka for real-time streaming okay so if you are getting those kind of projects so you should have an idea that how to work with kafka right so i am going to discuss lot of concepts related to kafka in my upcoming videos as of now let's just simply install kafka and let's see how we can produce message and how another consumer can consume the message okay that simple hello world kind of experiment so first what I will do, I will go to this particular website to download Kafka. So if you go to this particular website, you will be getting the download links. Okay, I am clicking on the first link and this one is the TGZ file which I am downloading. Okay, see here it is getting downloaded based on internet speed. It will be taking some time. Okay, once it is downloaded, I will explain the next steps. Okay, and all these steps, whatever is required for installation, this I have noted down in this notepad file which I'll be sharing in the description box or in the comment section also so that you can basically follow the same steps and make Kafka setup in your laptop okay or desktop okay so here now what I will do I will go to show in folder so here is our Kafka so what I will do I will just click on that and first it is zipped file so first we have to unzip right so I will just do extract here and here as you can see this extracted file is coming here and now here what i will do i will basically extract from this file okay and here is our kafka folder where we are getting right now what we will do we will basically copy this particular folder in some other safe location maybe in if drive i can save it okay so that is done and currently it is in f drive now let's see these steps so what we will do, we will create two folders in F drive. One is Kafka log is the parent folder and inside that one subfolder will be zookeeper. Another one will be server logs as child folder. Okay. So Kafka logs is a folder where basically all the logs will be storing. Okay. Zookeeper will generate the logs. Even when the Kafka broker will be running, Kafka server will be running. That time also logs will be generated. So those will be capturing in these folders. Okay. Right. So here I, I will go to F drive and here I will go to new and I will create a folder. Okay. So Kafka logs is the folder name and inside that another folder will be this one. Zookeeper and another one is basically server logs. Okay. Perfect. Right now, let's see the next steps. Now, what we'll do to start Kafka, we need to first start Zookeeper. So, Zookeeper will be configuring. Okay, so all the configuration details if you go to actual Kafka folder here, you'll be seeing these are our main folders related to Kafka installation. So, if you go to config, here you will see Zookeeper properties. Okay, so this one we have to basically change a little bit based on our requirement. So, here I will click on edit with Notepad. 
and here it is opening okay if it is small file and as you can see here some important properties are there like data directory okay the directory where snapshot is stored okay so zookeeper will store these snapshots so that snapshot what we will do we will basically store in zookeeper folder what we have created okay so our data directory will be inside f drive kafka logs is the folder and inside that zookeeper is this child folder right that one will be overwriting here okay so this one i want and apart from that another important property is max client connections okay that is basically by default value is zero so we will basically change that to one okay what this property is this property basically limits the number of active connections from a host specified by ip address to a single zookeeper server okay so i just want to connect one single server so i am just keeping for zookeeper the maximum client connection as one okay and the port is 2181 that means in our local host in 2181 our zookeeper will be running okay right and i will save this file and i will close this one okay right then what we will do we need to start our kafka server right so you will see here server properties so here also we need to change little bit some important properties and that also i have listed down here so first step will be we have to uncomment the listeners okay so here i will just search for listener here you can see the listener is there which is basically commented i will uncomment this one so listener will listen to port 9092 which is default one and then here log directory so for storing all the server logs okay what we have done we have created a child folder which is having the name server logs inside kafka logs right in the f drive so basically that one will be writing in the log directory so here if we go a little bit below here log directory we can basically paste that one okay and then next zookeeper connect okay so our zookeeper is running at localhost 2181 so that one will be just confirming whether that one is configured properly or not so here you can see zookeeper connect is localhost 2181 which is correct and then next one is zookeeper connection timeout okay that one will be making this value which is bit higher okay so default one is this one i am just changing to little high value okay right all this configuration is done and now i will just save this one server.properties is saved okay now we'll start our zookeeper so for that what i have done i have created a clean virtual environment in pycharm okay if i go to terminal here you can see kafka python this is the basically folder where we'll be doing all the experiments related to kafka and python integration running those all these things okay so let's let's first uh, start our zookeeper and then we will start our kafka server and then we will see that how to send and receive messages okay right so currently you can see we are inside virtual environment i will just do deactivate and we are basically in this particular folder now what we will do we will basically start our kafka zookeeper server okay so before starting zookeeper server you just make sure one thing java is installed okay because some somewhere java is basically dependency is there so let me just check java version if i do here we can see java 1.8 is installed right if it is not installed then please install java so that you can perform all the experiment and hands-on related to kafka okay so here we are starting our zookeeper right here you can see what command we are giving very important let's try to understand this so here we are basically using zookeeper server start dot bat file let me show you that so here we are having our kafka main folder inside that if we go in the bin here you can see many scripts are there so all these are cell script so we cannot use that because currently we are in windows so you will see a separate windows folder is there if you go inside that here you can see zookeeper server start zookeeper server stop zookeeper cell all these windows compatible files are there so that one only i am using here okay i am just mentioning the complete path for the zookeeper file okay what will be running and here already we have configured the zookeeper properties in the config folder here zookeeper properties are stored that one we are mentioning here as the argument okay so that this particular zookeeper server start will take the properties from this properties file which is present inside config folder simple right and now what we will do i will just hit and enter right let's see whether zookeeper is starting or not so here you can see here binding to port 0.0.0.0 colon 2181 that is 
in localhost 2181 our zookeeper is started okay i will open another terminal okay and here also i will be coming out of the virtual environment and then here what i will do i will basically start my kafka server okay so same approach for kafka server there is a script which is present here in the bin folder if you go in the windows here you will see that kafka start somewhere kafka server start is there so that one we are basically using here and for starting we are using server properties what we have configured or changed here okay so that one only we are doing here right very simple and here you can see our kafka server started okay right up to this it is pretty much clear so in the first terminal we have started our zookeeper in the second terminal we have started our kafka server in the third terminal what we will do we will create the topic okay because in the topic we will be playing with producer and consumer all this right so again for starting the topic there is a kafka topic dot bat file available in the bin folder inside windows uh, subfolder okay and then here we are giving create command to create the topic the topic name is hello world okay bootstrap server okay where our kafka server is running our kafka server is running in localhost and the port is 9092 right even you can see here here if i go if i go a little bit up here you can see that currently this is the address okay plain text colon slash slash desktop this is the one and colon 9092 so either you can use this one or you can use localhost not a problem so in 9092 localhost port it is running Re replication factor as of now i am keeping one partition also i am keeping one what is the importance of replication factor what is the importance of partition what is the explanation of topic all these things i will be explaining eventually in my upcoming videos as of now let's just perform some hello world experiment and complete the installation okay so here in another terminal i will just paste this code and i will hit and enter okay it is going to take some time so here you can see created topic hello world right our topic is created now what we will do we will create producer okay producer will basically produce the messages and publish in our kafka cluster and consumer will consume from the topic that's the simple concept okay so for producer we can basically start our producer in cell like this way kafka console producer dot bat this is the basically windows executable file to start our producer okay and then here we can mention the topic name where the producer will publish the message and then we are mentioning the server which is running at localhost 909 okay let me show you that if i just paste and hit enter here you can see it is started another terminal i can open and here i can run our consumer script okay again consumer script is also available inside bin folder in windows okay topic name we are keeping same where producer is producing message from there only consumer will consume from beginning is basically indicating starting from beginning it will basically consume all the messages and then here we are mentioning the server which is basically localhost 9090 okay so here i will paste that and i will hit enter okay so here as of now no messages are coming because in producer we have not pasted anything so let me put hello world okay if i just hit enter and if i go to second terminal here you'll see hello world is coming okay and this i can put this is first tutorial on kafka if i hit enter if i go to another terminal here we'll see the messages are coming okay like this way producer is producing messages publishing in this particular topic hello world and consumer is basically consuming the message from the topic hello world okay right it is very simple now what i want i want to produce messages using python if that is the requirement what i can do i can basically use a simple module which is kafka python okay to install this particular one you can execute pip install kafka python it will be installed and then we can use our python code to basically publish the messages in our kafka topic i will show you that so here in third terminal our producer is running i will basically come out of this okay and then here what i will do i will basically install kafka python inside this particular virtual environment okay right cool up to this and then here what we are doing we have written our code from time import sleep why we have imported sleep because 
basically producer will continuously produce messages and publish in the topic but in between two message publish we want to give certain interval okay that's what we are mentioning here sleep dot five that is five second interval we are giving then here we are importing from json import terms because we want to basically push some json kind of dictionary data so json dot loads json dot dumps we generally use so for that i am importing that and kafka producer i am importing from kafka okay here we have to mention the topic name and here we are creating the producer we need to provide the server name which is basically our local host i will be putting that here okay and the topic name is basically hello world right and then here what we are doing we are using value serializer lambda x dumps encode utf8 we are encoding to utf8 and then here after serialization we are publishing the message okay so for e in a range thousand so thousand times this loop will be out iterating we are generating number okay and then here we are printing the data and then we are using send method to send the message in the producer okay with the topic name and the data what we want to publish okay and in between each successive iteration we want to put five second sleep interval simple right so i will just copy this and what i will do here i will just delete everything from main.py and i will paste this one okay so if you can see in our first terminal our zookeeper is running in the second terminal our server is running in the third terminal we basically started our uh, producer but currently we have came out of that and then here in the fourth terminal here our consumer is running okay right so let's start our producer i will just run the main function okay and here you can see number zero is published so if i go to terminal here you can see number zero number one okay consumer is basically consuming so this is our consumer script right so consumer is eventually consuming that stuff so if i go back to terminal here you can see our code is basically running which is our this particular python file number four and after some time number five after some time number six like that it is keep on publishing and if i go to terminal here in our fourth session here our consumer is running which is basically consuming even i can basically uh, show you uh, in a comment prompt for better understanding i will go to comment prompt and then here what i will do i will basically start my consumer here okay so this is our consumer code here where our python code is producing the messages and then here if i just run our consumer here you will see that initially because we are starting our consumer from beginning so from beginning all the messages it has taken and see as soon as number 15 is coming here here in the consumer side also number 15 will be coming okay so you can see here number 18 is published so as soon as number 19 is published here also it is coming okay right so that means here producer is producing the message and once once it is published the consumer is consuming the message so this is how pub sub messaging system works right but i hope you have understood the foundation of kafka and python integration how to work with that how to install in windows it is very simple just you have to follow the steps whatever i have explained and in my upcoming videos i'll be explaining much more concepts related to this particular kafka architecture okay if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you